Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How the hell's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. Welcome back to Coral's Reef. And yes, folks, once again, and the only time and all the time, we're back at the fish tank. Look at everybody in this damn tank. And I'm telling you, folks, these corals are loving life. Oh, my God. Look at these corals. They're just nice and healthy and puffy. They're like on roids. I might have to give a little more flow over here. This guy's not moving that quickly. But I can assure you, man, I can assure you they're just fine, fine and happy. And look at this one here. He's all happy. All these people are happy in here, man. They're all happy. And look at these guys up here. They are loving life. The old folks are standing tall like soldiers. Remember before my other videos, these soldiers laying down like old folks? They're standing up nice and strong. And this guy here too. But anyway, folks, we're back here. I was doing a demonstration on the carbon. Red Sea carbon. And we had it in the sub here for about six days. I put it over here, because it was at the chamber here before, then I decided to move it over here. So I put it over here, but you can see this carbon, I don't know if you can see, it gives it a little film on top here. I don't know why it's giving the film, but it's like a little club, milky film on top here. From, it has to be from the carbon. It wasn't like that before I put the carbon in. But, anyway, my tank's looking good. It's crystal clear. Um, let's see if this carbon really did the trick. It's supposed to make the tank, like, pristine clear. As you folks know in my previous videos, my tank was clear. Nice and clear. But I'm trying to get it even clearer than what it was before. And you can see... Here's the before picture, and then here's the after picture. As you can see, folks, it's just the results with this carbon is the same. Nothing really changed in the take. I mean, I thought it could be like, you know, like 5G, like 4G clear, you know what I'm saying? Like like crystal clear like like you wouldn't believe but it's clear but it really it really didn't do nothing to my tank it's supposed to help with other uh other stuff in the tank according to the directions like your phosphates my phosphates are high so i mean it really it really didn't do nothing with my phosphates so i don't know dosing carbon or put adding having carbon any in, in your sub folks and my tank, my opinion, doesn't do nothing for me. It really doesn't. The only thing it did is make it a top. There's a film here from this carbon. So you can see there's light film on top. I don't know. Before I put the carbon in, there was nothing, not even film in there. So what I'm planning on doing with the carbon here, I'm planning to rip that out, and I'm going to put it in this chamber right here. Like I was, my, That was my original plan, to put it in this chamber. And have the water go right through through it and see if there's there's a difference. And then maybe maybe this little film on top will disappear. But I'm sorry to bring the bad, bad news folks. Usually I bring up some good news here, but the carbon didn't work in this tank. I mean my tank's apparently the same. Nothing changed. It's just the same. Nothing changed in this tank. So for me to recommend use do, um, using carbon, uh, I if your tank's fine, I wouldn't I wouldn't use carbon. If you have issues with your, with your tank that you need carbon, then by all means use the carbon. See, hopefully it fixes your problem. But there was no issues with my tank. I was just trying to get it, you know, a tad bit clearer because there was like a little. You can see like a little. It's like a little cloudy, but it's not real. I mean, you know, it's just like a little cloudy. I thought I'd like go clean to clear that up, so it'd be like, uh, you know, like 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 a 4K video. 
which I am filming a 4K here. This is 4K, or this is actually 5K video, folks. I am shooting 5K. Let me know how this 5K is turning out. But I might have to give it some flow here, because this guy here, he's not, he's just um, drooping around a little bit. You can see the flow's coming, but I have it set not that strong. And this guy here now, he has, this hammerhead has about nine heads on it. It's a good possibility there might be 10 heads on that. But I'm going to up the flow a little bit. And um, give this guy some love. But everybody's doing fine. The corals are doing fine. Oh, man. Look at these mushrooms, folks. I know you guys love the mushrooms. I love the mushrooms, too. But they're spreading. I mean, look at this guy here. They're spreading through my tank, these mushrooms. I don't know. They're like weeds now. I don't know why they keep popping the ball around the place. And there's this sucker back over here. This mushroom. Why do they? Why are they flying around like that? And then I have this guy back here. I gotta get him out of there. Yeah, but we're gonna dress that corner, folks, in the next video here. I got him. I I finally got a rock for here, a flat rock. We're gonna put that flat rock down in my next video, and uh, bring this sucker upstairs. He's coming up. I know I guys promise you every weekend it's coming up. It's coming up. But did not have a chance to bring him up there yet. I got a rock for it. So we're going to work on this corner right here. And I'll fix it up a little bit. And in the next video, you guys will see a little changes here. Alright folks, hey, that's an update for the carbon dose. The carbon I've been using. Um, red, red Sea carbon didn't work for me. We're going to try, try it in a different chamber. See if I get the results a little different. And we'll post another video within 10 days, probably two weeks. See the results. There's any results with using that carbon red C. But a lot of you know, I got a lot of comments in the below saying that red C carbon is like um, all-purpose carbon. It's not really it doesn't do nothing for aquarium reef tanks and stuff like that. You know, in other comments are like um, they don't recommend using it. I tried it out, and you guys are right. You know, I wouldn't recommend it, but before I give my, my final put on Red Sea Carbon, let me put it in this chamber down here and um, see, see if there's any difference. Alright folks, please like the video, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel, and you guys have a great day. Peace out.